Hi, uh, welcome to Math 132 course. My name is Sean Pack. Let me introduce, uh, explain uh, how our course is working. All right, uh, you, you should have some uh, manual, some similar to this, something like this. So first of all, okay, you got to read all the, in the introduction page, okay, this is the one, introduction page. Okay, please read everything here. So this one explains you know, all of them. So, or you can watch this video. Probably you click this you know, link so that you can watch this video, right? So anyway, okay, let me explain one by one. Okay, first, uh, you know, sometimes, okay, this is online course. If this is online course, of course it's an online. And then all the tests and all the work will be done online. So what you have to do is, first of all, you got to do this. Scroll it down all the way. Then click this, Lockdown Browser Future Check. So we will see whether your PC is compatible with this. Uh, you know, I already installed this Lockdown Browser application. So you should have something, you know, some message here below. You know, install, you know, download the Lockdown Browser, you know, application, whatever, so that you can download it and then install it so once you're done installing the lockdown browser application then and then uh, click this you know review the quiz so that you can answer some questions so you have to answer all yes in order to take you know test online so if your pc is not compatible with this lockdown browser then you cannot take the test you will get zero point on on this so this is really important to uh, make sure to download this lockdown browser and it's compatible with your PC. All right, that's the first thing to do. And the second one, the number two, so number. Okay, so that one. And then uh, at the beginning of this course, please complete the survey. So scroll it down and then acknowledgement syllabus and release form. So click this and then fill out the form. Okay. All right. And uh, okay. Once okay, then at the homework, you know, you write your homework you know, by hand, and then how do you submit it? Okay, what you have to do is take a picture. Okay, use an application. I recommend you know this kind of application, your know, scanner, scanner applications. So Office Lens, V Flat or cam scanners and there are more so use any you know scanner application and then take a picture of it and then also save okay, it's really important save your you know files in pdf format pdf all right so all your pictures let's say you took 10 pictures of your homework then all those 10 pictures will be saved in one file which is in pdf format all these sub, you know, all these applications support PDF, so you can save files in PDF and then submit this PDF file. Make sure your all the work is included in this one PDF file. All right, and then upload it in the appropriate menu. So let's say it's a homework, then click homework, and uh, you know, and then submit it. You know, click this menu, the chapter one, chapter two, and three, and then upload your file. Okay. All right, and then how about there are more categories? So let me open up the syllabus. The syllabus changes in every uh every semester. So this is uh one of the syllabus. Okay, please read this. And uh, my office hour. Okay, uh, I I will not be in the office, but you can contact contact me at any time in these hours, so that you can call me or you can uh, email. You can email me anytime. I can you know read the emails anytime. So if you want to arrange a time to meet me, then you can call me or send me an email, so that we can arrange you know Zoom meeting. But mostly, you know, you call me or you email me, then everything, you know, most of the work, you know, issues will be solved. We don't, actually, we don't need Zoom. But anyway, 
You can send me an email. Email or phone call is the best way to contact me. All right, so this is my email address and this is my personal phone number. So call me my personal phone number. It's better. All right, the textbook. The textbook is described here. That is sixth edition. Intermediate algebra within reach. ISBN. Okay, and then this class, the category of the grading system. The grading system is we have tests, uh, we have you know chapter homework, and uh, the review homework. This is for the final exam review homework, which is you know, these are the points, the maximum points, and then uh, online quizzes. The online quizzes are done. Uh, uh, this will be done every section, every section, and the final exam. So as you see this, all the points, the total is 1,000, 1,000 points. And then, uh, so 1,000 is 100%, right? So the final exam is 250 points, which takes 25% of the final grade. And tests, there are four tests, 400 points, so that is 40%. Okay, so others are, and then, uh, these are the information about these categories. There's no makeup. The online quizzes, no matter what happens, there's no makeup because this online online quiz is is due every Saturday. So you have plenty of time to complete this. So there's no makeup for missing homework, missing you know bad quizzes, missing you know, online quizzes, missing homework. All right, but test only. Makeup is a lot only for the tests. If you ask me for a makeup before taking the test, so after the test, you send me an email. I missed the test. So can I have a makeup? And I say no, right now. So before the test, before taking the test, whenever something happens, you know you are sick. You know you got a flu or you got COVID or something happens. You know I need to join a funeral or some, some, something, then you have to let me know earlier, earlier before taking the test so that we can arrange the makeup. And then when our makeup is arranged, I will deduct 10%. And so what on, so if it is, if a test worth 100 points, the maximum points will be 90 instead of 100 because I'm going to deduct 10 points, 10%. So it is better not to have a makeup for the test. Okay, and then uh, please read others. And let me explain the most important thing here. Okay, so the last two pages shows the lecture schedule for each week, week one, week two, week three, and so on. And this schedule may be different from each semester. So please check your current syllabus and then every semester the saturday this one says you know okay, sunday okay, sunday there are tests so you can take the test on sunday in this case you know it all depends on the schedule will be different varies so in this case it's a saturday right so we will follow the schedule as possible and then as you see this you know monday through friday this is these are the ones that will be covered that you need to study. So these are the ones you need to do, right? You need to study for this chapter and sections. And on Saturday, all the assignments are due on Saturday. So what you studied in week one will be due on Saturday. So this Saturday, in this case, Saturday, chapter 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 online quizzes should be submitted by Saturday midnight. The lockdown browser check and acknowledgement of syllabus. And then next week, you know, week two, then please read this you know, assignments that will be due on Saturday and work on this during this week and submit all this by Saturday. If you can finish this one, you know, you can finish this earlier than Saturday. You know, if you are ready, then you can submit it earlier. It doesn't matter. But the deadline is Saturday midnight. So please check your syllabus. Make sure you follow 
the schedule in each week. Right, each week. All right, and then the last week is the final exam week, and the final exam, the the time and date is not uh, fixed yet. So this will be announced later. All right. So make sure to follow this schedule, and also this one is in the introduction, in the introduction page of the on the model. So scroll it down. Then this is exactly the same as in the, in the syllabus. So you can refer to this schedule as well. All right, and then the last page shows the numbers of the homework. So for each chapter and section, these are the numbers of the homework. So you should complete these numbers. And the numbers are uh, every other odd, every other lot. So starting from number one, Starting from number one, you don't do the all the odd numbers, not all odd numbers, every other lot. So starting from one, the next number will be five. Now skip three, skip three and do five. Then next number will be skip seven and do number nine, and so on, until you reach the last number. Can you see it? So what you do is add. 4 to the previous number. So 1 plus 4 is 5. So next number is 5. And add 4 to 5. Then it will be 9. And the next number will be 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17. And all the way up to this last number. All right. And then this, uh, this shows the number of questions you need to do for this section, each section. And this number, you can ignore this number. SLO, this is student. Uh, student learning outcome program learning outcome and this general learning outcome so these numbers are related to you know what your learnings right learnings it is in the in this page you know program learning outcome general learning outcome and student learning outcomes you know these numbers so that is not necessary of doing for the of doing the homework so what you have to do is follow these numbers, complete the numbers. All right. So we are covering chapter eight in eight chapters, and chapter one is just a review. It just it, this is just a small number. Uh, we are not learning this one, so it's your work to study for this one. Okay, and all these numbers, as you see this, you can look at this on uh, chapter two. Uh, let's say we two. Now, on OQ means online quizzes. Online quizzes, HW means homework for chapter one, homework for chapter two, and bell quiz. BQ means bell quiz. And then chapter one and two, test sample homework. Okay, this means test sample, uh, test sample homework means, now we, in this case, this will be given, this, these are due right before the test. So there will be a test on Sunday, in this case, uh, January 31st, in this case. So before taking the test on Saturday, this one is due. So let, okay, this test sample, you can find these test samples in the on model. That is here, test sample category. Then from here, you can download test sample. So let's say chapter one and two for the chapter tests one and two. Oh, it's not working. No, if this link is not working, what you can do is you can scroll it down. You can download it from here. Okay. So click this. So as you see this, here is the you know chapter one and two test sample. So click this. You can download it. Then. Uh, there are questions. This was, uh, you know, previous tests. So, so you may study this as a uh, reference. So, make sure write all the answers, show your work and answers, and then take a picture and then upload it. Okay. And then also I posted you know, the solution to the sample you know, to the questions. So I, this is my handwriting. So number one, you know, this is how how it works and how what the answer is. Okay, so so something like this: show your work 
and then write the answer. And then take a picture of it, and then what do you do? Submit it. Where do you submit it? Here, in the test sample menu. So in the test sample menu, scroll down for test samples, you know, chapter one and two, then click this and then submit. Okay, it's pretty simple. All right, and then how about the back quiz? How, back quiz and online quiz, where do we complete this? Okay, just here, here is the online quizzes. So click this online quizzes. And then for each section, there are a certain number of questions. So click this and then complete this quiz. Okay, you have two attempts. So make sure to complete this in you know, each section by the due date. Okay, and when is the due date? No, it's in the schedule. It's in the schedule. So make sure all the online quizzes and backwards homework should be turned in the due date, by the due date. How about the backwards? The okay, backwards is here. So backwards is done for every chapter. Okay, so chapter two, there are some number of, you know, there are not many. Maybe, you know, you know, one question per section, probably one or two questions per section. So probably, you know, less than 10. Points, something like that. Okay. And then homework and the test. So, for the test, you know, when the time comes, you know, you take the test, you start, it will be open uh, 24 hours in that day. So, uh, this should be a, uh, is it, this should be Sunday. Not Saturday. I think I need to change this one. Sunday. All right. Anyway, we will follow this. Uh, follow the schedule here. Okay, follow the schedule. So if the test is on Sunday, then we need to complete this on Sunday. So probably in this case, it should be Sunday. And I will fix it. All right. And then what else? Okay, how about the grading system and the scores? Uh, I already mentioned the scores, right? So look at this. There are four tests. Each test is worth uh, 100 points, so it will be total 400 points. And the, for the final exam, the review homework is 30, 30 points. And this 30 points is, you can do it this way. You can find this one in the, uh, where is it, uh, homework. Go to the homework menu, scroll it all the way down, and the last one, this one. Okay, this is uh, available you know, at the beginning of the class, in the semester. So the review examples is here. So click this. Uh, there are maybe uh, about nine questions here, right? So this is available in, at the beginning of the semester. So you can download this file and try to solve all the files. You have one whole semester to complete this. And then mark your answers in this answer sheet. You know, in this case, you don't have to show your work. Make sure your answer is correct for all these questions. So once you're completed, mark all the answers. What you have to do is click this, and click this menu, and then mark your answers in this area. Okay, so click this and then make sure, you know, the, you know, preview the quiz so that you can mark the original answers, you know, the answers you marked on your answer sheet. So mark it here. Only one attempt is allowed. So once you've completed everything, come here and then mark yours. Okay, mark yours, then you get the points. All right. So this is available now. So download it and then solve it as well as possible. Okay. All right, so that is 30 points. And then uh, online quizzes. So each section is worth 
five points. So altogether, there are 40 sections, so 200 points. And for the chapter homework, okay, chapter homework, okay, there are 40 sections. So each section is worth three points, each section. So it will be 120 points altogether. And the final exam 250. All this makes 1,000 points. Okay, 1,000 points. And there are extra points. Okay, extra point is bell quiz. The bell quiz are extra points. One point. Uh, okay, there are 42 sections and one point each. So 42 is uh, an extra points from this bell quiz. And the last two sections of the online course, you know, 10 points. And our last two sections of the homework is six points. All right. And then also, do you remember the test samples homework? So before the test, there are test sample homework, right? So five point each. So four times five is 20 points. So these are the extra points. So altogether, the extra point is 42 plus 10 is 52, plus 6 is 58, plus 20 is 78 points. So 78 points are the extra points. It's already what? 7.2% of your total grades. Seven, so you're not a little over than a 7 points. So 7 points are a lot. So don't miss this extra credit. Because sometimes you, know, you have to get uh, C, the grade C in order to in order to pass this course. C, right? C. So this online quiz, uh, this extra points will help you to you know boost your you know, to pass this course. You now some students get sixty you know, nine, you know sixty nine some. Then there is a degree, uh, there is grade grade B, right? B. Then there is a failing grade. You have to retake it. So. In that case, you know, some students didn't complete this, you know, and missed some extra points. So, you know, getting all these extra points will help you to pass this course, right? And then, uh, there will be no round up. So look at this. Rounding up is not available in this case. So if your score is 69.9, .9, your grade is did not this is not this will not be round up to you know 70s your grade is less than 70 so you will have a d right d so there's no round up it's really important do not miss any deadlines okay submit all your work you know quizzes homework everything by the due date there's no makeup so make sure to upload all your homework and complete all your work assignments and then don't miss any extra credit. Extra credit. You know, some students send me an email after the final exam. Oh, you know, I need one more point to pass this course. Is there any way to pass this course? Then I say no. Well, I don't actually even reply to that email. So it's really important to accumulate as many points as possible. Don't miss any assignments, any extra credits. It's really important. Uh right. Okay, and then uh, for this is okay for the uh face to face course. Uh, I will explain this one later on. But uh, for online courses, make sure all your work is done online. All right. So I think that is it. Most of the information is explained. Oh, by the one more, one more. Okay, when you send me an email, please on the subject line, please include your course and your section. This one. In this case, uh, Math 132, ON01. And in this case, if your course is Math 132, 01, 02, 03, then make sure to write this course information in the email subject line so that I know which class you are taking, right? So if you don't show this one in this subject email subject line i don't know which class you are belong you belong to right then i have to look for all the rosters you know for each course it takes time for me so please include the course information in your email all right so i think that's it 
So make sure, again, make sure to complete this lockdown browser and application so that your PC is compatible with this so that you can take the test. And then also make sure to start this, you know, the homework, you know, this review samples for the final exam. Get started from today. Okay. All right. So please send me an email whenever you have questions or issues. Then I will reply to that as early as possible. All right. Thank you.